Hey guys, welcome to my second video on this LED wall I'm creating. Uh, since the previous video, I have added the LEDs here at the bottom like I said I would, and everything is wired up and ready to go. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you how it's all wired real quick. Um, this is one of the LED controllers that I make custom um, by myself. Uh, here is the five outputs that it supports, and here is the power connector for five volt power going into it to power the controller and power the LEDs. So right here, we are feeding the primary data line here from output four, I believe, of the controller. And this is feeding the LEDs down like this, back and around, all the way down. And then I believe here on output two, we actually have another extension cord here that runs all the way down, back and around on the other half. If you're curious uh, as to how the controller is set up, I have a whole other video on setting up a WLED controller. Um, that is the software I'm also running on these LEDs. So if you're curious into that, make sure to check it out. I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so this is WLED if you haven't seen it before. I'm gonna go to config here. We're gonna go to LED preferences, and I'm gonna show you here, these are the two outputs I've configured. Each one has 180 LEDs. I'm outputting on pins two and four. And since these are LED Christmas lights, these are RGB. Normally LED strips are GRB. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna go down to sync interfaces and scroll down here until we see network DMX input. This is how I'm going to be feeding the LED wall. It's going to be using a um, protocol called SACN or streaming ACN. It's gonna be fed through this CAT6 cable here. Um, we're going to select our type as SACN or E1.31. Multicast is going to be on. Our start universe is 97, address is one. Uh, there's going to be zero space in between each segment and we're going to do multi rgb mode i'm also going to force max brightness and give a timeout of 250,000 milliseconds that means that if it loses connection it will wait 250,000 milliseconds before shutting off with all that out of the way now we are going to go out and we're going to click back again before we feed it from our software here i'm going to turn them on through the power to make sure they all work as you can see from the glow and as you can see right here, they are all functional. So I'm going to run a quick effect on them just to confirm every single LED is working. And as you can see, there's two separate sections as mentioned before. So there's one, two. All right, so I have a Mac Mini here. This Mac Mini is running a super cool software called Entech ELM or Entech LED Mapper. This software basically allows you to patch in LED strips and send um, like a video feed essentially out to LEDs. So that is what I'm doing here. As you can see, the LEDs are lighting up this video feed that I am sending. If I go back to live here and I go and I select a different pattern, as you can see, it is doing a pattern like this. As you can see, the wall is also doing the same pattern. It's a little hard to see because this is facing the wall. But if I go back over here and I do something like uh, this effect where it's going down and up, you can see that it is actually doing this across all of the LEDs, essentially like it's an LED light wall. I like this one. It automatically generates these like bubbles um, every single time, so you'll never see the same thing over, but um, it's just this pattern that generates. I make it blue, but um, you can obviously change the color. You can make it green. As you can see, it looks really nice on the LEDs, and every once in a while you get like the wave in it, and it will turn some LEDs off or dim them, um, but you can also do ones with different colors. So if I click on this rainbow one here, I go back to white. The wall is actually doing different rainbow colors and I don't think this one is auto-generated, but um, you can change a lot of the parameters on it to regenerate different um, graphics that you might like. Now, you can also do like certain videos and stuff as well. So I happen to have this video here of these triangles going downwards, like so. And as you can see, it looks really cool on the LEDs. You can kind of see the triangle right here as it goes down, and it gives a really cool effect across the LEDs, making it look really like an LED video wall. So another thing I did with this project right here is actually instead of feeding the power just from the top on points here and there, because remember I'm feeding two different data lines here essentially, instead of feeding it just from the top, I'm actually injecting power again at the bottom. So you can see there's a cord here and a cord there. Now these are very thin wires, not high gauge at all. They're not even getting warm, which is obviously very good, they shouldn't be getting warm, but that kind of gives you a sense of like how often you might need to inject power. These are five volts only, so that means if I do something like white right here across the whole wall, as you can see, it's very orange here in the center, and this is because the lights in the center are not getting enough voltage. So that means that I actually should inject here in the center as well to get a full white color across the whole panel. Now I actually have an identical wall set up somewhere else, and in that wall, I'm actually injecting every single strip with extra power. 
Um, this is not needed, I don't think, but it does make the LED wall in general look a lot better. It dims better. It's not as glitchy. Um, as you can see, if I dim this down, if I dim this effect down right here, as you can see, it does get cooler. And this is because the LEDs up top are drawing less power, which makes more power available to the ones down there. All right, so I'm going to show you kind of what a power injection spot looks like. Um, as you can see, I have a wire here. We're going to chase this wire right here. This actually goes all the way down over here to this side. And I just have some Wagos here. This is not a great setup. You could actually solder these wires together. But in this, I connect the grounds and I connect the 5 volts. And it just feeds into this connector right here. Now, you can also inject into the direct wires that are on these LEDs. These also work very well. Um, I've just found that it's easier for testing purposes, at least, to inject through these Wago connectors. That way, I can add different injection spots as needed throughout testing. And yeah, so here is just another video look that you can do. Um, this one just happens to have some moving gradients across the lights. It looks really good. Although they aren't perfectly color accurate, um, for a lot of things, it's color accurate enough that like they look really good. So I did want to mention as well in this video, PCBWay did kindly send over some LED grids. So these are actually modified designs that I got from Thingiverse. I modified them, sent them over to our friends at PCBWay, and they sent 40 of these LED panels, which is fantastic. So one panel is three by three LEDs. So they sent 40 of those sections and that makes this really cool, really large LED wall. So thank you PCBWay for sending this over. Here's a message from PCBWay. So if you're interested in checking out PCBWay, I highly recommend it. Based on the quality of these prints right here, I'm really impressed with what they have to offer and how fast they can do it. Um, they offer all kinds of CNC, 3D printing, sheet metal, injection molding, PCB assembly, um, and all kinds of other things. If you're curious in checking it out, go check out their website down below. Uh, it's PCBWay.com. Um, and I also do have a referral link. I'll link it down in the description below. It'll be on the screen here too. So yeah, check out that link. Uh, I believe you get like a $5 credit uh, by using my referral code down in the description below. So check it out guys. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the project. Like I said, this whole thing is running through WLED running on this controller right here. Just feeding ethernet in and through SACN or streaming ACN. And it has two LED outputs on output two and output four. Those are the output pins. And it's feeding each section or each half of the LED wall individually making this really amazing led effect okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed uh like i said if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below i'm happy to help i'm actually going to go install this somewhere and i'm going to show you what this looks like um when it's all completed and finished thanks again pcb way i'm going to show some music and some clips here of a installed led wall but yeah thanks for watching have a great day i will see you in the next video